Sylvie, welcome to our trustee, uh, Board of Trustees meeting for December. Hello. Hello. Would you like to introduce yourself to all of us? Um. Yeah, sorry. I'm just uh, I'm trying to figure out the volume because my volume is all the way up, but it's coming through very low. Just give me one second. Sure. Can you guys hear me okay? Perfect. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Hi. Thanks for um thanks for having me in your meeting tonight. Um I am Sylvie. I'm the community development administrator. Um I started back in July, but um I finally feel like um I'm more in the flow of things now and um I uh was glad to meet with um Cindy this morning and um talk with her a little bit and so um, it was really good timing that you're all meeting this evening so I can introduce myself to you all as well. Great. Welcome to Waitley. Thank you. Okay. And now we will look at the minutes of November 8th. Are there any omissions, deletions, correction? From me. The only thing I would, I would say, I, I think you're talking about the painting of the windows. Is that in there? The minutes, or is that in Cindy's report? Uh, I guess I like to clarify what windows were painted. So in the future, we come back and look and say, "Well, it says in the the rotunda windows are painted." That was the rotunda outside windows of the rotunda. Oh, it does say outside. Uh, could you get me a pen? Does not say outside, but we can certainly um, add that. Yeah, I would like to add the word outside. To okay. The inside ones are, I guess, future maintenance, possibly. Okay. So we're just going to add that one word, Cindy. The outside of rotunda, actually two words, outside of rotunda windows are painted. Yes, I can go ahead and make that correction. Okay. Any other discussion, questions? Okay, if not, then I'll uh, accept a motion to accept these minutes as as um. Yes, one dollar. <laughs> I will make that motion. Is there a second? I will second it. Okay, yeah. and a roll call. Deborah. Yes, approve the minute. Fred. Yes. George. Yes. Bob. Yes. Welcome, Bob. Good to see you. Okay. Sorry, I'm late. No problem. Um, I do not believe we're going to have a financial report tonight because Jim um, has been ill and is not in attendance tonight and has been uh, literally flat on his back um, and is is slowly on the mend. So we'll dispense with the financial report until January. Uh, Cindy, it's all yours. Director's report. Okay, so there are a few things that have come up since my um, director's report. Uh, the fire extinguishers have been ex 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 uh, inspected, and they're good for another year. Um, we have this really la large bulletin board that's just kind of hanging around downstairs, not really sure what to do with it. We don't have a need for it anymore. <clears throat> Call it of what? What is, it? what is it, Cindy? It's a giant white bulletin board like you would have in school. It used to be right there when you walked in the door and we'd have all oh, our yeah, announcements yeah. of our activities and we don't have really a place to put it anymore. Okay. So it's been hanging around downstairs in the janitor's closet. Um, do we want to offer it to the elementary school to see if they have a use for it? Or one thought that I had is we need to have that three foot space between the electrical panel and so what can be in the um, janitor's closet that it could be maybe be there sort of the wall indicating the three feet barrier. Yeah, and you never know when you might um, want a bulletin board. Honest, I know that sounds weird, but. No, okay. I totally get it. Yeah. Okay, so, um, so we'll yeah, go ahead and keep it. Let's use it, it for and, that barrier, yeah. And I'll turn it into the barrier for the three foot. Okay. And then. Um, I'm wondering, Saturday, December 23rd, are we going to be open or are we going to be closed? That's the Saturday before Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. My thought is that we would be open because school gets out on the 22nd. And if yes. parents, parents want to get books with their kids 
for the holiday break. We're not open on Friday, not no. open on Thursday. Um, and it's it's is it uh, it's not a town holiday that day. No, it's not. Okay, so okay, so we my, will be open then. Uh, that that's just my opinion. Everyone, okay. else, please um, chime in. I just think just especially for the two week or week and a half or whatever vacation is, it's probably a good yeah. idea to get them some books. Or audio books if you're traveling. Mm hmm Yeah, that sounds okay. good to me. All I'm right. Looking. That's okay. We'll we'll be open. And mm -hmm. then this kind of is a financial report. Um, I received an email on Monday that our initial state aid award payment has come um will be posted within the next two weeks for $2,491.82. Our total award for the year is $4,983.64, which is a $387.03 increase from last year. This is also the largest state aid award we've ever been given since yeah. we've been tracking them. That's good news. Oh, that's, that's, I think that's that is really good news. That's good. And um, what can that be attributed to? Uh, usage? Usage, our circulation numbers, the number of patrons coming in. All Yes. Excellent. Well that's done, Cindy. Really great. Thank you. That's great news. Well and done. And then both Kim and Allison's evaluation, annual evaluations have been completed and submitted to the town. Um, and it's almost time to do mine because I've been in the position for five years. And then in March, it'll be time for my annual evaluation. Okay. And then I attended two professionals. Oh. One second. I don't know how, how you would like to do, because we do have new board members. Generally, what we've done is is um, gotten a hard copy, filled it out, and then um, gotten it to, the, uh, to either Cindy's desk in an envelope or to the um, central office. Um, and then I, I gather them and um, I, I complete the, uh, the single evaluation as um, chair based on your input. Is, uh, would you like it uh, sent to you electronically, which is fine. Cindy, we can do that. Yes, we can scan yes. it and send it to you. I already have it saved on my computer, so yes. Okay, so perhaps um, that doesn't, you don't need to rush that because we don't need no. to do it until March, but at some point you'll be getting that electronically and you fill it out as best you can. It's not a very good instrument, but it's the one that tells no. you. So. But yeah. Okay. Bob, when you when you say you fill it out, do you mean the other uh, trustees, the trustees? <laughs> Each of you fills out an, an evaluation, then then there's you send them to me, and then I fill out, what do you call it, just like a master okay. evaluation okay. that takes all of your comments and puts them in, in one single document. Wonderful. Great. Thank you. Okay. What else, Cindy? Um, I have attended two professional development trainings over the last few weeks, Simply Strategic Planning, um, and I learned a lot of useful information and I think it's on the agenda to talk about later. And then um, MBLC partnered with KLA Law Firm out of Boston and did this really good and really informative First Amendment audits that was specifically um, structured around public libraries and how to prepare and respond in the um, event of a First Amendment audit. But they're not really audits per se, that's what they're calling them and just some useful, helpful hints and tools in case they ever show up in Waitley of what we can do and how we can um, best protect staff and patrons in the event of an audit. Outstanding. And then, the I don't know, I, I know Bob you and George, you were at the library. Um, the bike repair rack has finally been installed and Sylvie has a sign that she's gonna have Keith put up so people know that it's a but um a bicycle repair station it looks you. very nice it does is there electricity that goes to that from the, our no building? it's totally doesn't need it hand hand pump uh air yep. thing and all of the tools are chained to the post inside out of the weather it's really a neat thing it's for it simple is. repairs 
Sorry, Sylvie. Oh, I was pleased with the equipment. I thought it looked really good too. It does. And it fits it fits right in right next to the bike rack. It's yeah. perfect. Yeah. And then speaking of electricity, I received a notification that starting because we're still with the Denogen, the Waitley contract, um, by starting January 1st, our supply rate is increasing from 0 0.09433 cents a kilowatt hour to 0 0.01435 cents a kilowatt hour. Now, do you think that that is that I'm looking at, I just I just printed out your proposed budget. Are you, are we going to be I'm thinking that maybe I should increase it by 10% and make it 5,500 just to make sure we have enough because there was a significant increase this month with the electric bill. It went from a little over $300 to a little over $600 in the course of the, just the past month. And I don't know if that's contributing to the fact we had the event and the lights on in the community room and we have the outside lights on and I don't know how much extra energy the um, heaters in the bathroom are using. So yeah, well, I would, I would, I would kick it up to 55 at least. Yeah. Okay. That's what my thought what was. What do you all think? Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. I will go ahead to increase that by 10%. And then that's all that I have for now. Thank you, Mr. Director. Thank you, Mr. I'm Chair. I'm not the director. You're the I director. I know, you're the chair. Thank okay. you, Mr. Chair. Any questions for Cindy? Oh. Okay, then we uh, move on to old business uh, electrical upgrade status. Fred, um, I had Cindy send you the, the last bill for you to look at. I don't know if you had a chance to do that. And yes? Uh Yes, last week sometime she sent Yes, it. last week sometime. Yeah. As, and, as promised, was, we sent it to you. Yeah, Is that work? That work has been completed? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. That, the work for the electrical contractor, yes. I don't know about the plumbing contractor. I haven't been there. Okay. The, no. um, the But has the, have the electrical outlets in the children's room been installed? Yes, they're there. Okay, perfect. So, so the electricity is done. We're just now we got to wait for the the plumbing plumber to, to come in and do his part. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, now, the other the other thing we need to, we can think about is there there is a remaining uh, funds left in uh, in that contract for the electrical work. If we want to do other work, uh, electrical work, that uh, we could still do that. Uh, I asked Brian, you know if other things are possible to do and he said yes as long as it's i guess electric related and you're within the budget item it doesn't necessarily have to be spelled out on our request to begin with uh okay. so he said anything else you want to do i guess uh the right. trustees agree we want to do something else with the remaining i think fifteen hundred dollars in there okay. uh, i guess that's up to us and i don't think there's a the expiration date for that funds probably goes until end of this fiscal year, or maybe end of this next calendar year. It's, I it think goes it goes to December twenty four. Right. So yeah. we still have, have time. Okay. Uh, I just um I spoke with Jim at the uh, at the event uh, after Thanksgiving, and um both Jim and I, and I know I've spoken to Bob also, uh, are are very opposed to drilling into the um, rotunda ceiling. For anything, um, the the rotunda, the piece of architect architecture that is the rotunda, is I think one of the best features of the library, um, and I just I'm not in favor of drilling into that to put in new anythings. Bob, okay. you can you can speak to that as well because you're the maintenance committee person. All right. Well, the the other. The one thing that would we, we change that Mark was proposing was to put another another fixture in where another fixture by adding another say can light. There's one can light in the ceiling now that is not original to the building. That was put in sometime after. It's it's pretty evident that that's not original. Uh, adding something to to match that on the other side, and that's kind of where we we stand. 
Uh, I didn't do any more with Mark because I didn't know whether this uh, trustees agreed that we should do something there or not. I mean, that's one one option is it was the can lights there or on the cove lighting. I guess it kind of would be two separate activities that, that Mark could do. Uh, I understand we don't want to change the the mood or lighting or whatever for the building uh, for that room. Okay, we can leave it that way. The the uh, cam lights, I don't know. The one that's there now, I don't know the reason for it. It, it doesn't shine much down on the table. I, I guess it was supposed to what, emphasize something or highlight something on the table it below be, it. Must have been something there once, once or something, some kind of uh, thing that they wanted to highlight. Yeah, because I can't think of another reason because it's just kind of there, right? But but it doesn't really shine that much light down. It's it's what I remember. It's a it's a horizontal fluorescent tube, mini tube in there that's laid flat ways horizontal, and you don't get much light down because you got six inches to the <clears throat> to the ceiling. Uh, we wanted to <clears throat> change that fixture alone, just that that one can light to shine more down i guess that's an option to do that is there anything else any other electrical thing cindy that that you might need at the present moment i cannot think of anything but if i do i will certainly let the board know okay well since since we do have a little lead time let's we'll put it back on the agenda next month as well and maybe some bob i don't know if there's anything else I know that one of the things you talked about was to put a receptacle in the gable end. In the soffit on the front of the building. So yeah. if we wanted to, we could hang a lit wreath in that front <laughs> gabled end. That that depends on what people decide. Fred, my question about the about the rotunda is where are the needs? And and it's not um you know have people talked about needing more light? Um, my concern I have a lot of concerns about putting more holes in that rotunda ceiling. Um, my concern about doing another can light is are we going to end up with the same thing we have right now? We have a can light in that ceiling that doesn't really shine on anything, and at some point it made sense to somebody. But as we move forward, things change, and maybe it makes sense, maybe it doesn't. So that's my concern about about doing something like that. I I like the softer, more dispersed light in that room, and then any place that people need to do specific work, there's task lighting. Would be would be my suggestion. So it's. I'm more of a form follows function kind of person. What what are we trying to accomplish in there? And then how do we do it? Do we need specific lighting somewhere? Do we need, you know, Cindy, has anybody said this room is awfully dark? Um, or, you know, are there issues with, with anything like that? People tripping? No, I myself nor have any of my staff ever received complaints about the room being too dark or people being unable to see. I've been in there. I when I was there working nights, um, a couple of over the last month or so, I was there at night a couple of times, and I was just you know looking with my eyes, which are not the greatest, um, and I could see just fine with the lights that were there. I could see the bottom row of the um, fiction, nonfiction, the of videos the audiobooks so so it it sounds i don't i don't think a decision needs to be made today i i like the idea that we have a little bit of time i like i love the fact that we got the critical electrical stuff done um cindy everything seems to be working we're not we're not using power strips plugged into power strips plugged into power strips to be able to get you enough power no Good. Not anymore. Good. So, so I think if if we sort of take a look, I know it, that's that's the reason why we had to do the electrical is it was a power strip plugged into a power strip plugged oh. into a power strip just to 
um, it, it was not a good circumstance. So it, it, if we can kick this can down the road just a little bit, um, the idea of a soffit light, if we wanted to do some sort of exterior decoration um, with the ability to maybe put it on a timer. The other thing that comes to mind for me real quick is um, I know John Hannum's not the fire chief anymore, but he requested more fire and smoke detectors than we put in. I think we could sneak them in under electrical if we have some extra money. Um, we did what we could afford in that budget, but maybe we do another two or three different smoke detectors in different areas of the building and we keep building that part of the system out. I... Did John identify some specific places where uh, detectors uh, should be? Yeah, we got all the big we got all the big highlights. We got the rotunda rotunda. Um, we got obviously the elevator top of the elevator shaft needed to have one. Um, that was for code. Uh, but there's, and then in the furnace room, we have one, but there's a couple of other spots that would be helpful to have that we, we don't have them right now. And, and we sort of, what you have to understand is when we did the lift, when we added the lift, um, we crammed in because we needed to for code. Um, we needed to have fire and smoke alarm on the top of the lift shaft. And then when we did that, we crammed in some other um, smoke detectors, but only in the absolute necessary areas. Before that, the building wasn't monitored, which was kind of, so two and a half years ago, that building didn't have a 24-7 fire monitoring and now we do so it, we'll take the you know we'll take every improvement that we can get um i can i can call the the fire and smoke people or fred i can give you their number if you want to talk I, I mean that would to me that would be an option um where we know there's an issue it's not something that anybody else is going to be calling for um but if if people aren't asking for more light, if people aren't questioning, wow, I I can't see or things like that. So Bob, does maybe the maintenance group want to meet to discuss that? Sure. It's well, going to have contact to find out how many more and, and location of additional uh, sensors. Who would who would tell us that? The fire chief or combination of the fire chief and then the people who did the alarm system. I can set up a meeting for the beginning of January, Fred. Okay. Why don't you, you do that? Because I assume whatever we put in it has to be, would be hardwired. So you're going to need an electrician to put them in, right? Yes and no. We did a lot because of the building and all the concrete. Um, we did a lot with Wi-Fi. Oh, okay. Yeah. And and John was said he was in it. John Hannum, the fire, the former fire chief was initially skeptical. Um, he said they've had a lot of success with them. And so okay. I mean, we can talk to, we can talk to people about them and. Okay. All okay, right. If you set something up yeah, in January, yeah, that'd be fine. Yeah. I'll I will. Let me, know, let me know too, Bob. Yeah, I will. I will let you know. Um, I I'm leaving tomorrow morning. I'm not back until like the fourth or fifth. So. Okay. Hopefully I can get something on the books for before the next meeting, but okay. we'll see. I'll let you know. Okay. Um, do you have any updates for a maintenance committee that other than what we just talked about? I don't think so. The okay. stairs are still the stairs. That stain is still there. I'm still watching it, hoping it goes away. Um, but doesn't, we'll seem to have, doesn't seem to have done that, Bob. No, I know it's it's as bad as it ever has been. So, um, but I'll deal with that. Um, we got to get through the winter. I made sure that Matt had um, magnesium chloride salt, which is the pet friendly salt, which is the salt that's not so harsh on um, concrete. And um, 
I tried to find he anyway, I got him something so he could spread it around. So I think we're good for that. I, I think he needs to follow Keith's guidelines as the tree as the tree warden for out near those maples. Um, I know the maple trees don't like any salt. And I that's all I really know. Keith would be the one to for him to talk to, but that's where the person slipped. Was it last winter or the winter before? Slipped and fell. So, yeah, yeah, I, I'm not sure what to say. He has, um, I tried to keep the sand away from him. I know he runs down to the town barn and gets some sand when he needs it, but it's, it's a hard thing. What do we do? We, we have patrons who. Yeah. Bob, do you know do, 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 when JD does the walks, does he treat the walks as well? Yes. He uses okay. magnesium chloride. Okay. All right. So we seem to have the bases at least semi covered. Yes. There. Okay. All right. And um, now we're going to move on to strategic planning, um, um, which for some reason, like I keep calling the five year plan because I'm just locked in the old communist, um, <laughs> the NEP, right? Sorry about that. It's okay. Russia, maybe, you know. Okay. Can I bring up something? But related to maintenance here before we get into that. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> one, one thing that's, that's come to mind, and I, I see a lot of activity on this in our uh, electrician even suggested that we look at upgrading our mini splits. And he's saying there is uh, upgrades of, available for, for most mini split units and and many of them qualify for mass save rebates. Mass save is big now on on rebates for upgrades for any kind of energy saving devices. And he's saying that we should look at upgrading our mini splits and what would probably be uh, be be necessary is look at the units outside. He's saying your inside units and locations and all that are probably fine. It's the outside units that could be upgraded and to do that you need to i guess call uh, a heating or hvac contractor to see <clears throat> what's what's available whether them units can be upgraded or not i looked online i think they're what dakin is is a brand name you can look online and it will you put in the specs for the unit and it kind of says Contact your local contractor to determine if upgrades are available. They won't tell you that online. So you need to call somebody to come out and look. Uh, the units are, one is 10 years old, one is 11 years old. And I don't know if they're even hooked up with Wi-Fi. They could be all hardwire units hooked into the building. Uh, if we want to, uh, well, we got two ways we could look at it. If we want to, we want to, look at this as a, as a separate project, we could apply for uh, for capital improvement funds from the town to, to, look, to look at upgrading these and, and, and apply for mass save rebates. Or the other option I think I mentioned before is, is to look at uh, green communities funding. Mm -hmm. But to do that, and I, I verified this with Brian today, we're looking at a minimum of two years to get anything out of green communities before you can actually have a contractor there to upgrade the units if if they're if they need upgrading. Well, plus other stuff, whatever that green communities would come up with. So, you know, uh, do we want to save some ele electricity, a lower electricity bill by upgrading units today, or waiting maybe two years if we ever get a green communities grant to look at the building? Well, um, I think that this is precisely why we established a maintenance committee that you all would discuss, you all would come up with a plan and you all would present it as opposed to those of us who have little knowledge in this area discussing something we don't really know about right. um, sort of in the dark at, a, at the big meeting, which I would, would like to be more efficient at. Um, so... Bob, I'm I guess I'm just going to kick it to maintenance. Sorry. Okay. I mean, we're at that point where everything is going to get kicked to maintenance pretty soon. Yeah. Well, okay. uh, I, 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 worth pursuing. I, I try to get some 
reaction from you guys. And yeah, Bob and, and uh, Jim Rossi are, and myself are on the maintenance committee. Uh, yeah, Bob comments the most. I very held, very seldom see something from Jim. So I, I don't know who else to, to bring it up to. Uh, you, uh, uh, Chair, I, I guess I could, but. Uh, no, Fred, let's let's talk. I'm I'm going to be traveling over the next couple of days, but I will have access to email. I just Googled Mass Green Communities. Um, some immediate questions come up, but we can answer those together offline. And uh, if we can get somebody else to pay for this and it takes two years, well, then I think we need to get moving. Okay. But I don't, yeah. I don't know that the Mass Save one now uh, whether we, how that actually works, do we we pay ahead of time, uh, in advance, and then get a credits, or does the contractor apply for us and and just gets the difference? I I, I don't know. It all depends. What I've heard is it all depends on the contractor. Right. I think some of the larger contractors will forward the money to you. The smaller contractors, you have to pay, and then you get reimbursed. Right. But. But I think that's something that we can work on, um, report back in the next meeting and um, figure yeah, out. Yeah, because the, the town has to have experience with this with other, I would hope, with other people. So, Fred, you and I can talk to Brian and other folks in the town and, and see, you know, are, do we fall? Do we fall under the green community? You know, I, I don't know. I'm and I'm well, looking. We are a green community. We just um had some uh work done at the elementary school, so um we do have a relationship with them, uh just for what it's worth. Okay. But there's, the, the, the there's another resource. Gonna, there's another resource no. for the maintenance committee. Sylvia. Yeah. The difference we're going to run to Bob is if if we go with the mass save rebates program here to to save money. Uh, and ask the town to fund it under the capital improvement program. We need to do that within the next month or two, because I think there's a request out there already for projects for that. And they're going to meet sometime in, in January to go over all the projects. Now I mentioned to Brian, if you know we missed the date already, is there still time to do it? He said, yes, there is. Uh, if we put some kind of placeholder in there, maybe for now, and then finalize the, the costs, whatever it is, later on before they decide that. So, you know, we, we can't wait six months to get a contractor and figure out, do we need to make improvements or not? Or go or wait to go green communities. I guess it's whatever trustees feel we need to do. Do we need to look at upgrading the uh, the mini splits to save on the electrical costs? I, I don't know. The unit's 10, 12, 10, 11 years old. There's gotta be improvements. How much? I don't know. That's where you need a contractor to help us decide. I'm I'm happy to look into it. Given, okay. given the holidays and and everything, I'm I'm just jammed, Fred. Right. I mean, and, I uh, I could get somebody. I could probably get somebody out there next week, but I can't meet with them. Okay, I'll meet. I'm, I'm available. I don't plan any any. Uh, okay, well, let me make some phone calls tomorrow morning while I'm driving. Um, it would be uh, all seasons, heating and cooling. Dave Lamprin owns them. Okay. Um, let me let me call um, his office. Um, I've had good reaction from him on other jobs and other things. And let me see what I can do. And then I'll I'll reach out to you and we'll see if we can't, you know, while you're there, you just put your phone on speakerphone and yeah. okay. we all... Oh, yeah, but I just I think I have to cut cut this discussion because yeah. Deborah needs to leave, and the next thing we're going to discuss directly involves Deborah's right. um, contribution. So I just want to make sure that we get to the strategic planning thing, um, and then if we need to return to this, we can. But I just want to um, be wise about um, Deborah's time. Okay. okay. So I attended the simply um, strategic planning workshop that was held by the math library system. And it was very informational. All the information we need is right on the MLS website. Um, or the forms we need to submit for a strategic plan. Um, lots of great ideas. Um, the 
there are three consultants from MLS who would be willing to come and lead at least one community conversation because yes, there may be things from the current strategic plan that we can put into the upcoming strategic plan, but it's also important to do a community assessment and have a community conversation with someone who could be considered an unbiased facilitator. We have until October 1st to submit our strategic plan. And I reached out to Deborah um, because part of it is a community survey with two examples of libraries similar to ours. And Deborah is going to help me with creating our community survey. I look forward to it, Cindy. I do too. And anyone else who'd like to join us is welcome to join us because this is a team effort. I'd be happy to to help out in any way I can, Cindy. Yay! See, I everybody finds something. There it is. That's that's the way it works, and that's that's <laughs> really good. That's really good. Is there anything else? Bye, Sin. Bye, Sylvie. Bye, Sylvie. Um. Is there anything else about that? We just need to get started because October is yes. only 10 meetings away. Yes. So, okay. and um, my thought was because Deborah suggested about a mailing, if we get our survey completed in time, perhaps we could reach out to the scoop and have it put in and mailed out with the scoop because that does go to every resident of Waitley. Okay. And we That's could have them idea. at town hall on the table at town hall. We could have some in the library. Have well, a link for it online. I, I and I know from our my um work with Valley Neighbors, not everyone can do a survey online. It would be great yes. to have a survey online and something that's mailed. Um, and the scoop could also say where they could go online to do the survey. I'm hoping that the town has something like a Qualtrics or some other kind of survey building tool, but we can look into that, Cindy. Okay. Looks to me like we've had a new subcommittee formed. I think we yeah. have before hey. our very eyes. <laughs> right. Hey, it works. It's going to work. This is going to okay. be great. Strategic planning subcommittee. Yes. Okay. Outstanding. Are you going to do oh. the team, Bob? Um, if my schedule allows. Allows it. Okay. And if I start feeling better. Okay. Um, I did submit an application to the CPC for the exterior brickwork. Um, and uh, I don't think we're going to get it. Um, the chairman of the um, CPC told me that um, it was routine maintenance because its uh, life is only eight to 12 years. It's like a paint job, um, but I'm still waiting. Um, the application was submitted. I asked for $6,500, which is um, the the cost. Plus I, I put in a contingency fund because I think that's important in construction work or renovation work. Um, but I don't think we're going to get the money. So we're going to have to figure out another way to do that, probably, um, because they they do not consider that anything more than routine maintenance. So that's, I mean, I hate to bring the that bad news, but, well, and it hasn't happened yet, and they haven't voted. So, um, you know, anything can happen, and I'll attend those meetings and, and see what happens. Okay. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for attending the meetings. Okay. Um, new business. Uh, just wanted to take a moment to review the community celebration. Was I great. thought it was great. I thought it was great. Really I good was, a lot of the patrons who came were very pleased with it and hope that it's something that perhaps will continue in the future. Bob, thank you and your wife very much for all that you did. Yeah. You're yes, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was wonderful. Yeah. You're welcome. Very happy to do it. And you thought amazing. it was fantastic. Yeah. It was. It very much was. The but, the concerns. But, yeah. yeah. Go right ahead. Well, the concerns I have are are mainly budgetary. Um I'm I heard people. I won't mention any names. Um, how did they get the money for this? Oh. <laughs> um, and and so I think we need to make it known that it was a donation. If it ever comes up, I don't hesitate to do that. Um, 
and I think going forward, we need to figure out a way to make it happen from donations, not from any money that comes from the town. Okay. Which, which really underscores our need to somehow have a group of friends so that we can have right. uh, access to Library Giving Day. Right. Yeah, and we've, we've talked about that. Bob, yeah. I... Oh, yeah. sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I can put in the MailChimp if it if you think it would help. In the January MailChimp, I could just say thank you for the generous donation for our community celebration. I just think if it comes up, if somebody makes okay. an issue, um, don't hesitate to to say that it was a donation. Um, it it was. It was just a donation. Um, right. That's all. That, that, that's the, I didn't want to, my wife and I, we don't, you know, we're not the kind of people where we're looking for anything. If we give a donation, it's, it's, we do it because we want to. Um, but when I heard that, I was kind of shocked and I'm thinking that we should have made a little bit bigger deal out of that because I'd hate, I'd hate for you to be sitting in front of the finance committee bob and somebody make a snide comment about well we give you this money and all of a sudden you're doing these events that are catered by the waitley inn well then i would just make it perfectly clear on the the uh, video recording that evening that they were misinformed and hadn't done their uh, homework and that's that fine i just i'm trying yeah. to give you trying to give you the information you need so you're prepared in case yeah. something like that comes up because it was well, it will <laughs> So um, quick question about to if we can switch to library giving day yep. and friends. <clears throat> um, if somebody's a friend, do they have to be a resident? No, the friends group can be open to anyone who is a patron of the library and loves the library. You can live in Deerfield. You could live in Sunderland. You could live in Hatfield. Okay, if you're going to cough, you got to go because I'm talking. Right. Do you have to be a Massachusetts resident? No. There's okay. no bylaw that says you must be a resident of Massachusetts to be a member of the Mass of the Friends Group. Okay. It's not specific like an elected position. It's strictly, you know, a supposed to be a philanthropic volunteer position. Right. Because the the friends are gonna that for us to and and I don't want to switch gears, Bob. If you're not ready to switch gears, go, go, go right ahead. Go right ahead. Okay. Um, library giving day, we have to have the friends group running. We can't we can't have a button on. We can have a button on our web page that specifically says give to. From my understanding, let me rephrase this. We can have a button on the town webpage that says give to the friends of the Waitley Library. And if they click on that, it will take them to the friends site where they can donate. And that money goes into the friends bank account because the friends program is a 501c3. But a 501c3 needs president vice president uh treasurer a, a treasurer and a secretary and i don't think our friends group has that right now no yeah so i don't know that from what i'm hearing i don't know that giving day i mean april's not that far away but it's it's a lot closer than it sounds I don't know that we're going to have a friends group. Yeah. Um, as far as doing the switching it back to the community celebration, as far as, as doing that again next year, uh, I've already talked to my wife. We would be happy to do to support that again next year. I would certainly. Oh, it was such a warm and welcoming and wonderful celebration, Bob. And we're all really grateful to to you. Uh, it, it really lit up the whole basement room there it seemed like a little french right. cafe that was, uh, that was the idea we 
We just came back from France. So oh, really? that's oh, part okay. of the idea. So. Well, that, that's what it felt like. And I certainly would be happy to, uh, you know, help uh, go toward the donation as well next year. It was, it's a, it's a, it, it would be a tradition well worth uh, keeping. Um, well, it, it would be nice if we could establish more of a, a giving, I don't know if paradigm's the right word, um, but, but get more people involved. Um, so it's not as trustee dependent. Yeah. Um, so, but yes, I mean, it, next year, um, and it wasn't that my wife and I didn't want any help. Part of the problem was the timing was such that yeah. it happened fairly quickly and our schedule was such that it it was actually easier for us to just pick the whole thing up and run with it than involve anybody else. Because to involve other people, it wasn't that we didn't want the help. It was just that to do all the planning would have been a lot more work right at the very end. So, yeah. so yeah. next year, we're happy to say yes to help. We're happy to involve more people. Um, and hopefully we're not gone for three weeks you know, a week and a half before the event. Okay. Um, so, but I, I'm i not holding my breath for the friends group to be ready by April Library Giving Day. Do you but know, Bob, if we're still meeting with Sheila? I have not heard anything from her. I'll reach out and see what happens. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think she's I think she's really busy. Um I'm happy to I'm help, happy to help in any way and if my life moves me to Colorado as a resident and I can't continue here then maybe I take a position with the library friend. Okay. So All right. Um do you have anything else there Bob that you wanted to talk about? Uh, no, I'm okay. Um, is there anything else that we haven't gone over or finished? We know what direction we're headed in terms of, of uh, the maintenance committee looking at the mini splits. Can and... I say yes. something about the Absolutely. mini splits, please? We had those installed by Rich Strong, and we are still under a maintenance contract with Rich Strong where they're coming out every year and doing the inspections and the cleanings and the changing of the filters. So if we're looking, and they were really good to us when we had the issue with the one that was the um, compressor that was down last year and needed the parts, that if that is something that we were going to pursue, we should be in touch with Rich Strong since mm -hmm. we've already contracted with them and they've been really good to us over the years. And even though the units may be 10 or 11 years old, we've only had them installed for seven years. And that's all I have to say. Okay. I think it makes sense to, okay, so Rich Strong. Yep. Okay. Um, Fred, check your email. I'm going to send you an email um, about com about talking tomorrow. And then okay. we can take, we can take this offline and we can reach out to Rich Strong and his group. Um, Cindy, can you send me any contact info? Yes, I will get that to you. Okay. Okay. And then, Fred, you and I can move that forward offline and, and try to set stuff up in the next couple of weeks. Okay. Get people in. Okay. Good. Is there any other business that we need to discuss? I assume the second Wednesday, January 10th, would be our next uh, meeting. Does that look okay for everyone? Yes. Okay. Um, and since there is no nothing else to discuss, I'll accept a motion to adjourn. My motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. And I'm sure there is no opposition to that. Folks, have a wonderful holiday season. Thank you. You, you too. too. We're, Thank you. To everyone. This is going to work out really well because Jack and I are heading down to Greenfield to pick up my uncle who's moving in with us today. Oh, okay. my goodness. All right. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Take care.